So you'll catch the work in progress over here. I did some basic leveling before the rains came. We got several inches of rain, which was absolutely insane. But here's where I'm building the pad for the caboose. I'm awaiting some road base and then some one inch washed rock. I picked up a few more eight foot ties, put those over there yesterday. We'll lay those on top. You'll. Um, You'll have to hang with me while we assemble this thing. I've got to get all that out of here, so if we end up putting a crane over there, we can. Or if we want to put the crane over there, we can. And, of course, you can't do one without another. I've got a new secret project going in right up there where you see all those flags. Whew, good times. Let's get this bucket connected. That will be key as we spread out a little road base and some gravel. Watch this, I'll get it first try. I'll be damned, did I? I actually got that first try. I got that first try. Shit. Yeah. All right. First bucket. Woo! All right. Let's go put some of this where we need it, downhill. So I've watched these guys on YouTube for years and you know I in these neighborhoods I drive through neighborhoods and there's old farmers on a two-wheel drive open-air 1950 tractor with a box blade and they are building these pads for 5,000 square foot homes and they're perfectly level and perfectly flat and how in the hell do you do that? <sighs> I would like to say practice makes perfect and I'll just keep practicing but I don't know how many more cabooses I plan to order and deliver and lay tracks for. Oh my god, look behind me, right? Look at those, look at those tracks. Those are perfectly level. How do you do that? Perfectly level and beautiful and stacked up on rock. Now granted, I do have rock and where I may fall short with the road base, hmm, maybe that's the trick. You just cover it up with rock and lay a level on it. We shall see. Hmm. I don't know, but I'm gonna get back at it. Let's do it. Leveling wet road base is a challenge, but I think we've got a pretty good situation here. Um, we've got this somewhat level. The ground's just really soft in general, um, but I packed this like mad with the tractor, using those big tractor treads as like a sheep's foot roller. And, um, and scraped and I've got, you know, my center line figured out. 
you can see where the rails will lay on the outer edge and that furthest flag over there and the nearest flag over here that's the 43 feet 3 inches that are essentially from linkage to linkage the outside most point naturally kids got to have a 16 foot driveway so that's what that will be and um, none of this will be recognizable I mean I'm really going to dress this up yes we are keeping buzzard barn that's an imperative Texas barn same thing it's old it's gangster I love it it's not going anywhere <sighs> But we, um, next step here, I think I'm just gonna go straight to gravel. Gravel and then railroad ties two feet apart. So check this out. I've got uh, many, many tons of washed rock. I said, hey, let's put it discreetly behind Texas Barn. Yeah, it's discreet. <laughs> but so uh, that's going to be circular drive, railroad, train car base um all kinds of stuff excited about that so here we are maybe the end of day one of pad building except my days are very limited i can't take my time on this um we're less than a week from delivery so by the end of the day tomorrow that will be done and it's going to be awesome good times the saga continues. Okay, big guy. All right, it is gravel time. I want to get some gravel on that road base before it rains tonight. And it is going to rain. Oh well, good time. It is Sunday the 16th, 11 a.m. Whew! So, phones started blowing up last night. Um, tornadoes, hail, mega storms. I'm looking up thinking, wow, it's not looking that bad. You know, they missed it again. No big deal. And uh, sure enough, man, I'm out here in the tractor, you know, laying my foundation for the caboose and um, like golf ball size hail starts coming down we got i don't know how many inches of rain but that pond just was going over the back of the dam man it was crazy it was absolutely crazy so uh that put me a day behind well a few hours behind i plan on going well into the dark last night um just to get ready because i am unfortunately out of time but things have to be done notice no makeshift cattle working corral here and easy. There we go. She's on, she's up. Yep. In this instance, I am totally cool with taking, taking it slow and easy. Slow and easy. What a view, right? <clears throat> so looking out the back of the caboose, this is what kiddo's gonna see every day. Well, every day she's here, anyhow. But how beautiful. And I know, I know, I did not have the heart to tear down that mimosa tree. It is breathtaking for about two weeks every spring. You'll see that in a few weeks, I'm sure, when it pops. And uh, it's an invasive species, really bad to have on your property, but it is beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna spread some of this stuff by hand because that is so wet. <clears throat> I'm worried about putting the footprint of the, of the Workmaster 75 on here and digging ruts and laying that foundation unevenly uh, before I lay track. But I will be laying train track at some point today so we can drop those 30 foot, three foot rails on it on uh, Thursday, Friday and get that caboose over here.
it level? I think not. But is there enough rock on top of that wet road base that I can run the tractor on the pad and smooth this out and add several more inches of rock? I hope so, because that is my plan for the afternoon with Mr. Workmaster over there. Yep, Esco and I are loaded. How you doing there, big guy? So, still Sunday, just a couple days left. I think the caboose is ready to go. Oh, I have never lifted anything with a crane to put it on a truck, so I, uh, we just tied everything down, just in case. Okay, you are doing the last minute walkthrough with me. Yep, windshield wipers still work, check. Good, good to go. Oh, wow. This is an undertaking. We were uh, kind of redlining on time already, but uh, still totally worth it. Totally worth it. Oh man, I've got to get back there to shut that cabinet. Okay. Yep, it'll ride. <laughs> Famous last words. Oh hell. This is going to be rough. Here we go. It is still Sunday and I am still grinding. We've got to get this rock down, get this leveled and get it ready today. So it's tractor time. Hopefully it's dried out enough to uh, use the tractor to level this thing out, pack it in and get it ready. So uh, hang out, let me do the work and um, we'll figure out if this works together. Turns out, well, in my very humble assessment, tractor tires are somewhat similar to a sheep's foot roller, right? Um, I'm hoping this is dried out enough to where I was able to pack that. I left a slight little hump in the middle um, so the train can settle, but um, I don't know how many miles I put back and forth on the rock and the road base with the tractor. Um, I don't remember the gross weight off the top of my head. I'm going to have to look that up. But I know the back tires are full of fluid. And uh, I've got that box blade on. So that's a good amount of weight. Um, now, it is time to lay some tracks. Wow. Um, yeah, I'm out of steam, man. Out of steam. And I got a big week ahead of me at the office. I just don't know how I'm going to pull all this off. But... Totally worth it, right? Not all time in life is equal. This is one of those times, kind of counts more. You know, you're doing things on the personal side and the professional side. You can't really say I'm gonna botch one thing and give it to another because that's not an option either. But this is going to be absolutely awesome. Totally worth burning it at both ends. So uh, I'm gonna put this to a time lapse and let you watch me throw some tracks down and then we'll figure out how to level the tracks and uh, make them even. Cool.
can't believe this. I've actually got these tracks down. Look at that. Now I have to do a little more spacing work and then I've got all of the plates and the stakes that go in each one of these bad boys. But uh, I think those plates go on right before the rails. What a day. Oh my goodness. Okay, 5.38 uh, p.m. Sunday the 16th, T minus like, I don't know, four days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday or Friday, we don't know what day it's coming. But uh, it's a lot of work. What a day. Man, what a blessing. What a blessing to be able to live this life. Okay. I think I need to get to work. Saturday the 22nd, 8 a.m. Had a misfire this past Wednesday. We were almost there. We were this close. The uh, trucking company and the uh, guy from the crane company came out and took a look at the entrance, which is where I am now. And it looks like the slope on the house side of the tracks is a little aggressive for those uh, for those big long trailers so they were kind enough to mark off some things to give me an idea of the kind of plane I need so I just need to lay a new foundational drive here for the trucks to make it over without problems with that 60,000 pound train car and here I don't know how they're going to do this. They're telling me they're going to make this left turn, which, you know, that's pretty tight for a giant long trailer like that. Um, they want to try to get that trailer here, crane in the middle, and drop caboose from truck to tracks. I don't know. I don't know. But then again, I don't do this for a living. They do it for a living. They know the game. They're the pros. I'm just the amateur. But I will be adding a little bit of gravel here today. <sighs> Fixing the slope there. And also, um, bought a culvert. You know, I don't want to put all this, you know, elevation change in my drive over there and have it wash out with the next, like, gully wash or rain. So we've got a little culvert pipe over there we're going to install. Whew! Today, another rather uninteresting prep day, but you know, the uh, prep is what it's all about. If you prep properly, the task is easy. And uh, that's what I'm going to try to do. All right, first things first, gotta get this culvert pipe in. So I'm gonna go to the lowest point here. I'm going to drag my box blade with a couple of teeth across just to loosen up these rocks, you know, find a nice bed where I can lay that culvert pipe and then I'll cover it up. Uh, again, not fun or exciting, but, you know, absolutely necessary. Need a lot of material here. I hope I have enough, but uh, stick with me, we'll knock this out. that a 16-foot culvert would be too big and I'd have to cut it. But you can see, just looking at the road, I definitely can't go any shorter. But now, I gotta cover that up and get to work on moving some gravel and bringing my line up about to where this little paint dude is on that electric fence stick. Whoo, yeah!
is using so much more material than I anticipated. I think I've dumped probably two triaxle loads already on the uh, culvert and on the uh, side of the drive where I have to build it up a little bit. Whew. I'm gonna cruise back. Let's go ahead and dump this little load. I'm trying to be as efficient as possible here. But see, we have to build up this right side where those um, where that truck's gonna come through in the trailers. We don't want too much of a tilt, so I've gotta level this off. But uh, right now I'm thinking I probably have another entire triaxle worth of gravel and rock to put between the end of the slab up there and the culvert. You can kind of see where the pink tags mark, about a foot of elevation change necessary. Whew. Wow. And then I gotta pack this down. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Here we go. When in doubt, overbuild. Whew, I'm hoping that's what I did here. We added about two feet over here. So um, if you remember the problem was that this grade right here sloped too steep for a super long semi-trailer to get over these tracks. But uh, now I think we should be okay. That's uh. Yeah, it's probably three feet at the point of the culvert that we added. I'm hoping this does the trick. Drove the tractor back and forth, you know, used those big fat tire treads like a sheep's foot roller to pack this stuff in. I mixed some of the road gravel, the brown composite, with the washed rock, and I'm hoping that allows it to kind of lock together a little bit tighter. We shall see. We shall see, and over here, we have the same situation. Um, we need to elevate this inside just a wee bit. That way the big trailer isn't tilting too heavily to the left when it comes in carrying that caboose. <sighs> I think we'll be straight. I think we'll be straight. Sunday the 23rd, still at it. Today's theme. Sweating in the rain and I ripped my pants. <laughs> One of those days, man. <laughs> but I built a great wall. Not any wall, not just any wall, but a great wall. Retaining wall. I'm hoping that these, uh, these rocks and bricks and misshapen little things I found all over the ranch just hopefully hold some of that rock up. My problem was this one inch washed rock is just pushing over it's not packing so i'm hoping that with the help of some of these rocks in this retaining wall uh, we can keep that rock in there it'll have something to pack against and uh, we can bring some semis over this little land bridge side note to get it over to this side we have to cross railroad tracks so cross your fingers that the semi can get over the track <clears throat> Yeah, hopefully they're not low boys. I'm yeah. sure we're gonna tell them, hey, we need tall, we need tall trailers. Hopefully, yeah. We're gonna have to cut our entrance to pieces and then rebuild it. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna assume that it's not going to go smoothly. <laughs> It'll make for a but very interesting story. You know what? That, at least you have the foresight to say this isn't gonna go well. No, it's this not. is. It's gonna cost twice as much. And it's going to take twice as long, yep. and we're going to have problems that we don't even know exist. But will it be worth it? Oh yeah, totally. Oh, definitely. So, totally. There you go. Yeah. You got to try it. Yeah. Go for it. Cheap and expensive. <laughs> yes. I think I'll probably start on that this weekend. Yeah. 
Because what else was I going to do? I'd probably just be sitting around, like, drinking coffee and yeah. talking about the good old days. Yeah. Not. Never, <laughs> never done that in my life. <laughs> it's just one of the many things on the list. Sure would be nice if I had something to do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, my goodness. Yeah, I don't think that there has been a single hour in the past year that we have spent just relaxing, like just not doing anything. That would just be weird. It would yeah, feel it wrong. Would, yeah, it would be weird. I just tell myself that I don't hands in the devil's playground, so I'm like doing God's work by killing myself every day. There you go. Yeah. Worked out pretty well for us so far. Yeah. It's working. Why change? Yeah. <laughs>